Chris at Tommy Two Face Toys and welcome to another car boot haul video. So I woke up this morning and it was really hot weather. Um, yesterday was lovely, it was like 26 degrees. Today was about 21 degrees. Um, went to two car boot hauls, my usuals. Um, I went to Arming Hall first, which was pretty packed out. It was pretty big. So I was expecting big things when I arrived there and I also went to Harford Park and Ride at about the 9.30 mark which isn't the best time, it's quite late to get to a car boot, especially when you pick up some bits and I know I lost out on some items as people told me, um, but I did still get some good stuff so let's get on with it. Right, so um, to continue my theme of duvets and sheets I did get this. Toy Story single duvet or Buzz Lightyear single duvet nice and clean pretty awesome looking um, don't think it's got date on it couldn't see one it's for looks what looks like a smaller doesn't look like a normal single maybe it is a single one I just haven't slept in one for a while um, but really nice colours really cool and it also has a pillowcase which is a bonus because sometimes I can go missing that's pretty awesome well tried to find that so I've got a few now um, I also found I got a bit of a job lot from one person um, it's quite a few different things a bit of bargaining going on um, spent a bit more money than I would like to but I've got some cool items I got a green Ranger Zord, Mega Zord, the Dragon Zord I think it's called, it's pretty awesome looking, really nice condition still actually, um, do the arms, they do click in somehow, from, oh there you go, pretty cool looking, really nice. Um, I think these light up don't they, but I haven't checked to see if it works yet, and he is missing his tail, which is a bit of a bummer. But I got that in the lot. I also got uh, red Mega red Zord for the da, 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 totally forgot the name of it. I used to actually have this one as a kid. Um, the whole Mega Zord. It is the series two, I think it is Mega Zord or Super Mega Zord. Is it called? I can't remember. As you can tell, my Power Rangers knowledge is completely gone. Out the window since I was a kid. Also got it's the Samurai or Super Samurai Megazord, but there is some bits that are wrong on it. I think I know that's wrong. Um, it also should be a helmet on the top, and obviously his swords missing. And there is the red sort of falcon, pterodactyl sort of thing as well. I'm sure, there's one of those for this as well. In fact, I think these legs are wrong. I think those two are wrong, if I remember correctly. I'm sure that's like that, and then it's this is all totally different. These are from two different ones. I'm sure it is. Um, if you know, let me know in the comments below. I'm almost certain those are different. Um, what else was in that lot? I also got a uh, Gozomorpha, which does work. And it's got a card in it, a little bit of a bonus, for the Great Megazord. Is that what that one is? No, that's not it. But that's what that's from, from the Great Megazord. There we go. So I was right. Still remember something then. Um, okay. So we've done off. As long as it doesn't make any noise. Also got a uh, Time Force Chrono Morpher working. This is in really good condition actually. The strap is lovely condition. And I also got this one's Ninja Storm as far as I'm aware. I'll turn that off because they're going to keep bleeping now. They're all going to keep going off. Without the strap, but the Ninja Storm with a disc as well. Um, don't know if it ejects or what. But that works. 
Um, this was all still in the same bundle. I think there was something else. Yes, there was. There was a couple of little Gundams. I know they're missing bits, but they're always quite popular, these, and I just love these anyway. Um, I've had to stay clear from these for quite a while because they're so cool, I could quite easily start collecting these. I just love the way they articulate, and they feel so... They just feel pretty robust in the hands. Pretty awesome. I think he's missing a shoulder pad there, I'm not sure. Or maybe he's meant to be like that. But two Gundams. That was in this set as well. And also... Uh -huh. Oh, try this one. And this. I've totally forgotten the name of. But that was in the bundle as well. Um, still sort of works. It's a bit quiet. And it's a bit fuzzy on that button, so... Something's a bit amiss with it, but still got the helmet in there. Um, this one's from, oh, I've totally forgotten what it's from, Wild Force. It's the Wild Force Isis, or Isis, ISIS, -I -S. Um, not the best name anymore to have, but obviously these were the days, you know, when we were a bit, not naive, let's just say, but but yeah, there was the times when you could actually say Isis. Um, yeah, so he's pretty cool. I'll have to close him up yet because he's pretty massive. Let me put him like that. Cool. Um, so I got all of this. This was one big bundle, and there was a lot of bartering going on. We were there for a while, and I think I ended up paying £25 for all of this, which ended up being I know that's not a complete Megazord, but these three working alone should be able to make a tenner each. Easy, I think that one should make about 20 quid. So I'll easily get my money back there, and then there's these. Um, and this looks pretty complete and it is still working, so I think we should be able to get good money back for that. Now to carry on the Power Ranger theme, I've picked up quite a lot of Power Ranger stuff. Sorry, I'll have to go out of shot for a second. But I left them a bit too far away to reach. I picked up all of these. I think they're... what do you imagine next? I'm not sure if they are, but they're really cool. And I managed to find a whole set from one... Bailey, I've got the Black Ranger, Blue Ranger, Pink Ranger, and it's all the original looking ones as well, the Mighty Morphin ones, it's pretty awesome. I think these are the Super Mega Force, actually, Super Mega Force figures. Green one, I love that I've got the whole set, it's pretty awesome, I would like to, if possible, sell them as a set. Red Ranger. The Yellow Ranger, some of them doing some crazy acrobatic poses. Alpha, awesome to have Alpha. So literally got all of them there. And I've even got the Megazord. Oh, last one's not going to stand up. Okay. And then I got another, not sure what type of Megazord this is. Um, I can't think which one this is. him as well nine of them so pretty awesome there actually i'm pretty good with those and the power engine didn't stop there in fact i think most of us yeah over 50 percent of the stuff i got was power range so i also got black battle borg he's in really good nick actually um try and put this arm down without. all the stickers are still there And I also got oh, the red battle ball. Pretty awesome looking. In fact, the stickers are around that one, apart from the shoulder by the looks of it, and a little bit on the head. But apart from that, the, he's pretty awesome as well. Really good condition. The silver's not too scratched up. I have sold the blue one before, the wolf looking one, I think. Can't remember what. Seven, eight pounds, and that was about four years ago. Um, I know these can work, be worth a bit more, but um, I think he's going to be sold. And these are sold as well. Um, was there anything else? I think the red guy might be sold as well. Um, not too sure yet, but I've forgotten how popular Power Rangers was. I haven't picked them out up in a while. 
I uh, also got this crazy looking dragon. Um, I do know it's from early landing centre, but bloody hell, I had to pick him up. I mean, how mental is that? Almost sort of Hydra looking thing. Slight bit of paint wear on some of the spikes, but crazy. Early learning centre. I mean, that's crazy. Also picked up Bang, the uh, Space Jam action figure. I think I got him for a pound. He's awesome. He's a bit scratched up, but don't see him too often unless such cool looking figures. Got him. Um, picked up this little figure. I don't know where he's from. What a shame. He does have some little action. If I can hold him by the head. There you go. And I don't know what he's from at all. It says 1996 Bandai. I don't know. He probably won't stand so I'll lie down. I've got a cool looking Nightwing figure. Pretty nice looking. That is 2011. It's amazing how old some of these are already. You look at 2011, you think, oh, they sold the other day, but eight years ago. I got a cool looking Doc Ock. I did make sure all the tentacles were there, which they were, but then I noticed when I got home, some of the spikes are gone. Some of them are fine there, but some of them are missing off there. But still looking cool. Um, not sure what this lever does. There is a lever here. Don't know. Don't know what it does. Um, Frostbite. DC Comics. I've never really seen him, so picked him up. It's cheap as well. I think it was 50p. Bit of debate on the stall when I was picking up about who he was. No one seemed to know who he was. I got Zarek from Dungeons and Dragons. Cool little figure. A little bit of weight to the nose, but pretty cool looking. Understand? He is gonna stand. There was a guy who was giving stuff away for free for some reason, and that's the only thing I found on this stall. A little McDonald's. I remember these the first time round, like potato. When is it from? It doesn't say the date. Nineteen ninety one? Nineteen ninety one, oh my god. I was eight years old when these came out. I actually remember these. They were pretty cool. I don't think I've had the Dracula one, but I did have others. And then I got these. I think it does a little monsters in my pocket, I think. But different sort of ones. Monster wrestlers in my pocket or something. I can't remember what they are. And I got those. Um, as you can see, not a bad... I think that's all of it, yeah. Not a bad car boot haul. Loads of Power Rangers from Wild Child for that. Especially things like the Megazords. They always do well. And I know these Battle Borgs are quite popular because they're quite old now. They are... 95 so that's pretty old i mean it's what 24 years old that's insane so yeah pretty chuffed with what i got um picked it up over the two car boots obviously um i will talk about this t-shirt again i am a horror fan and one of my favorite b-movie type films is killer clowns from outer space um there is a rumor that they will be doing a series of that, but that rumour was out three, two, three years ago. I don't think it's going to happen now. Um, I got this from, there's an awesome subscription box called Terror Treasures. I'll put the link below. They do um, custom boxes. You do have to wait a while, so you don't get them regular like every month like others do. Um, so if you're not very patient, don't bother going for it, but they are awesome. They do different price ranges and... I got this one a couple of years ago because I really wanted to try it and I spent 50 quid and I got this, an amazing Freddy figure in its, on its card from A New Nightmare. And I got a, decor, a Christmas decoration from Trick or Treat and it has a little survey basically when you, when you fill out what you want or the type of films you like and they basically choose it for you so um, they make a custom box. You might be able to hear my daughter in the background, excuse that. Um, right, I'll stop waffling on and I'll wrap it up. So don't forget to subscribe, like my video, or let me know if you don't like it. Leave some comments below on anything to discuss anything. Everything is for sale because I didn't pick up any turtles because I'm a turtle collector, if you don't know already. Follow me on my Instagram, at Tommy Toothpaste Toys. My Facebook, Tommy Toothpaste Toys again, just search for that. 
um, also on Twitter. And I have an eBay store, so loads of this will be going up. Um, but again, some of these bits might be already sold by then, as I know I've got some interest already in some of the Power Rangers. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week.